So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab that is fundamentals of cloud logging and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel and a lot of you guys were asking how to enable the check my progress bar so for that check the description of the video so now let's get started so first of all you need to click on start lab now open console incognito window so here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password check the lab instruction for it now here you have to click on I understand, click on I agree and then agree and continue. Now for the task number one, we need to activate the cloud shell. So first of all, the cloud shell is being activated. You have to click on, so continue. Click on continue and then you have to authorize yourself. So click on authorize and if you don't know how to activate the cloud shell, just activate the button then on the top just left to bell icon so here we have to update the region and zone so for that we need to move forward to the lab instruction and click on setup and requirements so here basically we have to update the region and zone so as you can see here is the zone so just update it now here we will view the application so for that wait for this so finally it's updated you can close the cloud shell and then now open new tab and paste here basically here we will test the application which is deployed that is the books application so let's see so from here just click on this you will be redirected to a new page and if you face any error you need to wait for one to two minutes for the website to fully load now here you have to click on add books and add the books as per lab instructions so click on add book and let's hit check my progress you'll get the score without any issue and if you don't get score just wait for two to three minutes as you can see here it's mentioned now enter the test books enter the author name publishing date and description copy carefully and then click on save so basically we have updated this now we have to create log based matrix basically in this lab we will creating two matrix and one sync and one virtual machine so now go back to the cloud shell here type logging and select the second one that is logs explorer and if you are unable to find you can just type on the search box so it will open it automatically now here first of all you need to remove this unwanted pop-up so click on it and then click on leave now close it now close this unwanted place now from all resources select GAE application and then wait a minute click on default and select all version ID and then click on apply so basically now you have to click on run and as you can see here all data has been uploaded so it might be different as per lab but just follow the way i am doing as you can see we don't have to update anything it will be version id only and just select first of all run it you have to click on 200 status and it will add a filter and so let me show you here as you can see get 200 you can click on any so just click on it and click on so matching data so now it will be updated and here you have to update so first of all actions and then create matrix and the matrix type will be first metric will be counter metric and second metric will be distribution so we are creating counter metric for name you can select the name so now you have to click on create metric so now it's done let's say check my progress for this task and it may take some time if you face error wait for it and we got the score now we have to create another metric that is distribution metric so you can do one thing you can either reload the browser or just try again first of all you need to understand what changes you have to make so just scroll up 
use the mouse wheel or your button so for log name select all logs just click on it if you are unable to see this just zoom out your screen and from here you have to select multiple so for that click on select multiple and select all now all have been selected now click on apply now these things we have done and now you have to just run the query so now click on create metric and this time we are creating distribution metric so for distribution metric you have to enter the name latency metric if the name updates do check the lab instruction for that now this is done now from the next part we have to add the description so just paste here now we have to add a field name so field name will be the proto payload latency so just enter it and now we need to check is there any other thing needed no so now scroll so finally the metric has been created now hit check my progress for this task you'll get the score without any issue now we have to as you can see we have to do two more tasks that is one creation of vm that is virtual machine and another exporting the data via sync so first of all you can type vm instance or just click on compute engine there are multiple methods to complete a lab so from here you need to click on create instance so wait for some time wait for the page to fully load click on vm instance and now click on create instance so now here we have to enter the instance name so for instance name let it be default as there is no update but if they update the value you need to enter from lab so here you can see the region and zone as see you can see the region is same here but if it changes from the lab instruction you can always check the lab for that now we have to update the machine type to micro and as you can see we have to add firewall http network so from here click on networking and as you can see here two things are there so just click on http network and then click on create and now wait for some time and then we will hit check my progress you'll get the score without any issue so finally we got the score you need to wait for some time but now we are in the last task that is exporting the logs and if you are still ahead just like the video and subscribe the channel and do check the playlist for remaining labs too so now let's go ahead and complete this part so from here as you can see we are in task number eight that is exporting the logs so from here you have to see this this will be the our query so for query we will move to the query explorer so now from here if you haven't closed it you can do like this or just open again logs explorer like we did in the previous task so these are the changes which were required and it has been already done for you so now here you have to add resources so copy carefully so here you have to call it the copy the inverted comma also by mistake i missed it so i will show you what error you may get so first of all let me paste it as you can see this is the accurate data so when you will paste it here first of all select the log name to activity and then click on apply now go to the arrow and hit enter now oh, use upper arrow to paste it so here you can see we got the error and the error is mostly because of the inverted comma that we missed after gce instance so as you can see here we did one mistake and we don't have to repeat this mistake so just copy it carefully and paste it so i just add the comma here and finally error has been resolved now you will click on run so we get the output but if you are unable to see first of all 
use this to make it visible the query i mean so now here we have to click on create sync now wait for the sync to open so the sync name will be audit logs and we will create a bigquery data set for exporting that data i mean logs so enter the sync name now it will be bigquery data set now here for name you need to create a new data set so copy the name carefully otherwise if you miss you will get error click on create bigquery data set enter the name here wait for a second and finally click on create data set now you have to click on next and then create sync so once it's done we'll be done with the lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel and do check the playlist for swag skill badges google cloud arcade and other learning platform related videos so finally we are done now let's hit check my progress for all the task now a lot of you guys were asking about this score card you can check it out let me show you my channel if you haven't subscribed it subscribe and do check the solutions for all weeks trivias labs are here so you can check that now here if you want to know how to enable this check my progress do check the video description and finally we are done with